Hey, what's up everybody? Today it's July 1st and it's the start of a two day weekend here at the pool, which is really exciting because usually we only have one day weekends. I just finished up dinner and my friend Hunter and I, we're gonna go out and walk out to an area known as the Super Darn. It's a bunch of these antennas and there's a little building out there you can kind of hang out in. We're gonna go shoot some photos um, because we're, we're, we're nearing the end of time with uh, pure darkness, right? So the, the moon came up um, last night or yesterday or something, and now it's gonna kind of be up for the next two weeks. It'll be really bright out, and you won't be able to take any good photos of the night sky. And then it'll set one more time. We'll have two weeks of darkness, and it'll go up again. And then once it goes down, we'll start being in the astronomical twilight phase of, uh, of the sunrise. So that's pretty exciting stuff. So we're trying to take advantage of, you know, the darkness. And we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go out there and do some shooting. So, yeah, let's go. There's no one in the halls right now. Wonder what they're doing. So my uh. My tripod actually broke a while back. I uh, couldn't really handle the cold. I didn't buy one that was supposed to be in anywhere this cold, so I uh, I need to steal one. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be here. That's a story for another time. But I am uh, get to borrow this guy, which is pretty cool, um, from one of the scientists. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of gear. Just waiting. Hey Hunter. Yeah. Why do you use tape? Maybe. Yeah. So it holds the uh, focus and the manual, the manual focus in place, and as in the uh, zoom. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it does things that are weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna take it like that. And now it's time to go. Here we are, we've, uh, we've made it, and uh, Hunter's filming me because he's a dad. <laughs> but uh, this is super darn, I guess, this is a little building. You know, you know what it's for? Uh, antennas and stuff. <laughs> you know what the antennas do? I don't know what they do. Daniel, do you know what they do? I have no idea. <laughs> it's cool though. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's super darn. It's my dad's super. <laughs> that was a horrible yeah. joke. So it turns out, my answer is right here. It is the, what is this? the Super Dual Auroral Radar Network. We just got in from taking some photos, not actually just in because uh, the cameras freeze out there so then the lens fogs over and you get inside and you can't really you know, do much, but it's pretty awesome um, as you saw by the photos that you know, I showed you. Uh, we're going to go out one more time, we're just here warming up a little bit, it's, I think it's like what, negative 65 ambient, like negative 90 or so? Um, so yeah, cold. <laughs> it's really not that bad for the South Pole. What do you think, honey? It's pretty warm out there. It's balmy negative 65. <laughs> a balmy negative 65. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna chill in here for a little bit, uh, listen to some music, and we'll head back out in a few. And then we come back in warm again. <laughs> Anyways, then we're gonna we're gonna come back in and warm up again, and then we're gonna we're gonna go back to the station and enjoy the Saturday night festivities. Done, done. So, uh, Daniel fell asleep. Um, we 
What you doing there, Hunter? Uh, lens is frozen, so I'm trying to thaw it out in front of the, uh, the heater. <laughs> it's cold out there. Well, we're back inside. One last little little warm up sesh till we till we head back to the station and uh, join everyone else on this wonderful Saturday night. Got some frosted cameras, so that's pretty cool. Oh, my camera's frozen. It's uh, it's really cold. You can see. Cannot play back image. <laughs> I've never seen that on my own camera. So. That's cool. how cold it is. <laughs> yeah, it's about time to go. So uh, we've warmed up, gotten our stuff together, and just gotta start putting things away, and then uh, it's time to head out of here and go back to the station. Well, I'm back in the station, back in my room, safe from the, the Antarctic wilderness, if you will. Um, man, that was a good time. That was a lot of fun going out there, shooting. Uh, I'd never been out there before, so it was really cool seeing the antennas and um, those servers. I really still don't know what the antennas do. Uh, maybe it has something to do with the auroras. That's what it said on the, on the case. But as you saw, the photos were great. The auroras were beautiful. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we definitely have to go back out there once the moon is fully down. So in about two, two weeks or so, because it's just starting to come up now. It'll be up for about two weeks, and then it'll finally go down again. So yeah, if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit that little thumbs up button, subscribe, because I'll be making more of these episodes as I try to familiarize myself with this whole vlogging thing. You know, it's a bit tough um, at first, you know, walking around with a big DSLR and like talking to it with a big microphone, you look a, bit, a little bit silly. So uh, it's good practice to do it here when, where no one's judging me so that when I finally head out, I'll be all set to go. Anyways, thanks again for watching the video. I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, what's up? So when I came in from recording that video, unfortunately we did not have any internet, which means that I wasn't able to look up what the Super Darn does, even though I really wanted to. But now that it's a bit later and I have been able to, I've decided it was way too cool not to share with you guys kind of a quick overview of what it does. So like I said, while we were out there, Super Darn stands for Super Dual Auroral Radar Network. And basically it's this system of high frequency radars and there are tons of these sites located all over the planet. And what they do is they're looking at plasma disturbances in the ionosphere layer of our atmosphere. And because they're all doing this like at the same time, they're able to create this voltage map almost in real time, which is just absolutely amazing. Now that in itself is kind of the main goal of this whole project, but with that data, they're able to look at all kinds of other cool stuff with my favorite by far being looking at geomagnetic storms or in other words auroras so when that radar is sitting out there and the auroras are going off it's actually measuring them which is just really freaking cool because we have them all the time here in the winter um which is just so yeah anyways just uh like i said just wanted to give you a quick quick overview of what it does like I said, we just scratched the surface here. So if you're at all interested, I highly recommend looking into it some more. It's really cool. Just Google Super Darn, you'll find all kinds of information. But yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know that. So thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time.